What will be the last Pokemon game on the Nintendo Switch? So with all these rumors and stuff coming out about the Nintendo Switch 2 or the next Nintendo console, not sure what it's going to be called. It might be called the Switch 2. But anyway, so there's leaks about that console being released this year in 2024. So that makes me think of Pokemon because we're getting a Pokemon Day in February pretty soon, which... There was a small leak where apparently we're getting a mainline Pokemon game announced, so I don't know if that means we're getting a mainline Pokemon game released this year or next year, but that got me thinking, like, what would the last official Pokemon game be on the Nintendo Switch 1, the console that's already been out for, what, seven years now? I'm sure all of you guys already know and have heard of this a million times, but there's potential that a new Pokemon Black and White or Unova game will come out this year, or a Johto game. And so I feel like one of the possible games that we could be getting is like a Let's Go Johto or a Let's Go Togepi is a big name that everyone's been throwing out there. And how it would be like based on the Heart Gold Soul Silver remakes and everything, which I think would be really cool because somebody also brought up the point of like, what if they have the Kanto post game where you go to Kanto region within that game? I think that'd be really cool. But then again, I also kind of feel like they're saving that Let's Go gen 2 game for the next console possibly i would also love a legends game i'm i feel like we could get a legends game for the last pokemon game on the switch and so this year may actually be the last pokemon game on the switch but we've actually had a pretty decent amount of pokemon games on the nintendo switch whether it be just mainline or just side games there have been a lot of pokemon games within the past couple years that have been released on the switch console so I feel like it's it's served its time, and I think we're ready for the next console, but I just don't know. But like I said, these are all leaks and stuff, so I don't know if the next console will be released this year. It looks like it may be released this year, if not this year, probably next year for sure. I don't think they're going to go too much longer without releasing another console. But going back to how I mentioned we're getting like a, a mainland Pokemon game this year. So there was a leak a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago, I can't remember, but of how we're getting a mainland game announced this Pokemon Presents or Pokemon Day 2024, which is February 27th, I believe. So only just a little over two weeks away, which is pretty exciting. Can't wait to see what they announce then. But will that game, will that Pokemon game that they announced, will that be released on the Switch? Or will that just be an announcement for the development of a game that they're currently working on that will be released on the next console, which is kind of interesting to think about. The next console supposedly has the same power as a PS4, which I know a lot of people say that's outdated, which, you know, technically it is. The PS4 came out 10 years ago, but it's still a really powerful console. So games are going to look super, super good on that next Nintendo console. And I think the screen's also going to be a little bigger when you have it in the handheld mode. But basically, what will that mean for Pokemon? You know what I'm saying? How will Pokemon games look on the next console? I have no idea. I feel like they could look significantly better but i also feel like they're not going to go for like the realistic look i because it's a it's a pokemon game they want to keep the cartoonish animated you know vibes going on so so hopefully whatever the next pokemon game actually is on the next console will be just like a vast land with tons of movement going on throughout the world in depth like town cities characters no lag and everything anyways so moving on to generation 5 there's a lot of talk about unova region coming back whether it be black and white 3 which i don't think it's going to be black and white 3 i feel like black and white 3 is probably not going to come out ever or maybe just in a long you know distant time in the future maybe i feel like if you were to get a black and white game it's going to be a game sort of like legends arceus where it's based in the past or just some some new spin-off open world style pokemon game based on the gen 5 unova unova region which i would love i really 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 want to go back to the unova region also i know this is not going to happen probably yet but i would love to go back to the kalos region i love that map i think the kalos region is really really fun and i loved pokemon x and y they're not my favorite but i really enjoyed them so hopefully we can go back to those but i feel like we'll probably enter that era probably on the next console if you think about it but this question that I'm asking about, like, what will the last Pokemon game be on the Switch, kind of also begs the question, what's the first Pokemon game going to be on the next console? 
Are they going to follow the same thing they did with the Switch and release a Let's Go game? Are they going to end the Switch off with the same series? Let's Go. You know, they could start the Switch off with Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee and then end it with Let's Go Togepi and who knows? I don't know. A lot of people said Wooper, which I'm like, why? I don't think they're going to announce Let's Go Wooper. That's, I don't think it's going to happen. Wooper is a fan favorite, but I don't think they're going to put him on a, you know, cover art or anything. Let me know what you think the next Pokemon game will be, though. My theory is probably a Legends Johto. I feel like we're going to get like Legends Celebi, Legends Johto, whatever. Just a Legends game based in the Johto region. I feel like they're going to go off, go out on a big game because we had the last Pokemon release be in 2022 with Scarlet and Violet. I'm not talking about like Detective Pikachu or anything. I'm talking about like big mainline Pokemon games. I know they did the DLC, which does kind of count in a way. The DLC was great. But I feel like they're, because we skipped a year, which happens every few years, they usually skip a year, I feel like they're going to go out on a bang. I feel like they're going to go out with a big Pokemon game and then release the next console this year. But the only thing that makes me not think that, there's a small part of me that thinks that they're saving the next Pokemon game for the next console. And the reason why is because if they release the next console this year, they're probably going to want those games to be sold with the new console. You know what I mean? Like they're going to want people to buy the new console. So they're going to want people to buy the new Pokemon game for the new console because Pokemon's a huge IP. It's a huge name. People want to play it and they're going to want to play it with whatever console it's paired with. But then again, maybe the next console is backwards compatible, meaning you could play Switch 1 games on it. Kind of the same situation with the 3DS, how you, the 3DS could play regular DS games, but the 3DS cartridges are different, so the regular DS can't play the 3DS cartridges. Hopefully that makes sense, kind of sounds like a bunch of words mixed together, but I feel like that's probably what they're going to do. I'm really curious to see what the next cartridge will look like though. Are they just going to do the same thing where they add a little ridge to the end? They probably will. Who knows, but the next Pokemon game... But Pokemon games are typically released at the end of the year, like October, November-ish, with the exception of Legends Arceus being released in like January, which was pretty cool having, you know, two releases within a few months of each other with Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, and then Legends Arceus. That was, that was pretty cool. So, I mean, I guess if they did release a Pokemon game this year, people would probably still play it on the Switch too. I mean, I would buy the Switch too. I know a lot of people are going to buy the Switch too. I really hope it's not the same situation as like the Wii U where people didn't know it was a new console. They thought it was like a variant, like how the Switch OLED is just the Switch, but just a little different. Hopefully that's not the same situation. So that's why I also feel like they're not going to call it the Switch too. I feel like they're going to call it like the Ultra Switch or new Switch because the leaks also suggest that they're having the same style. It's the same Portable, dockable, you know, remove the controller's design. But let me know what you guys think the next Pokemon game will be. And do you think it's going to be released on the Nintendo Switch or the Switch 2? Or do you think it's just going to be like where they release the Switch 2 this year as well as a new Pokemon game? I mean, it's definitely possible. Also, okay, I'm sorry to drag this on. I just, I just had a brand new idea that is not part of my script. What if they release a new Pokemon game this year? Let's say October of this year, we get Legends, Johto. I'm just throwing a name out there. And then in then also in like November, the Switch 2 comes out. So that means this year, just imagine we got a new Pokemon game as well as a new console. Then what if they pulled a Legends Arceus where they release a brand new Pokemon game in January that's only available for the Switch 2 console? Who knows? Hopefully that can make everyone's dream come true of the Legends unova and a legends johto game coming out but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to leave a like and subscribe it goes a long way i appreciate everyone's support and i'll see you guys in the next video peace